Today we're boarding Ellen, the most powerful 100% electric ferry in the world. For a few months, it's been connecting two Danish islands without noise or smoke, paving the way to a concrete transformation of maritime traffic. This is her home port on the Danish island of Eru. It's here that Ellen loads her passengers and recharges her batteries. Once disconnected, the 750-ton ship, inaugurated last August, leaves for one of its five daily trips to the neighbouring island. This project was co-financed by the European Union in cooperation with islanders eager to achieve carbon neutrality. Ellen is not the first electric ferry. What makes her so special? So firstly, it's that we are fully electric, so there's no uh, oil on board at all to run anything on the, on the ship. Uh, and secondly, it's the uh, distance that we cover, which is 22 nautical miles. That's seven times what uh, existing electric ferries have covered. And the longer distances you start covering, of course, the more uh, usable the technology becomes. And I think in Europe, it's probably about 80% of the ferry transportation that can actually be covered with a 22 nautical mile range. Another notable feature, these wind turbines produce 130% of the electricity needed on Eru. Some of the surplus is injected into Ellen. Ferries are the largest polluters on the island. Ellen will save 2,000 tonnes of CO2 emissions a year. Under the hull, four quiet engines and 56 tonnes of lithium-ion batteries with a capacity of 4.3 megawatt hours, but no backup oil generator. We reserve at all times a certain amount of energy on each battery room. So um, if you lose a battery room or have to shut it down for some reason, there will always be guaranteed to be enough energy left on the other room to sail back to harbour, to, uh, to do all the emergency procedures that could be involved in, a, in a, an emergency at sea. Upstairs, all the comforts of a classic ferry and even more no noise or smell to ensure a quiet crossing for passengers. And the crew have quickly become familiar with this new tool. Actually, the uh, electric motors are more uh, powerful because you have the full torque immediately from, from the bottom. So that's quite nice. You can almost drive her like a speedboat. To further our understanding, we traded the Baltic Sea for the Swiss lakes. We are now in Switzerland. This energy storage company was selected to power the ferry. This battery manufacturer has developed several innovations to meet the requirements of the project in terms of safety and efficiency. Its CEO is convinced that lithium-ion batteries will play a central role in achieving the electrification required by the international maritime authorities. Nearly 12% of CO2 emission in Europe comes from marine traffic in European economic area is 13% for our cars. We need to focus on this sector. This will be the fastest route to reduce carbon emission in Europe. This is just the beginning. The company already has 25 orders for electric ships, some even larger than Ellen. We in Europe have taken the lead in electrification of marine vessels worldwide. The e-ferry project it will give crucial operational data, safety data, will help set standards not only in Europe, but for the world. <laughs> <laughs>